Kukumo no ba mulera tikun tonghit kun tonting Ta kunjus tahmiki grabul mogo kachichu ita bodunga tolo bank waleogan ke puna buna nai chatu tin ba mulera tochi gratu loda bograshi onio kumba chin tonmo mutuba loda dita kun Ida pati sama. Kunga kunga. Wana kunbez ching palamule. Ta biz tu bongko koki mag banga. Ching palachis ka mule tunarana nu prata. Kuya mi juz chikata na patoga ya fulki koko gala jiji. Ga wana bot atagwa kagi dorat. Shangji locha wana wama? Kava volpa mulji gumana. Kichun chishine chene manaman atota. Hakki jukrata bula shui chonga tong. Chong kinno bunka mutong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Ka chikun ita haldonga. Ikin kuno pa mulera chikun. Spimo po dona. Tong abog siya uminang. Wanga kumbis keng balimura. Kava dun pa ku paliya muka pata. Puno na chaku. Ikun kuno bulimar. Tol pa da bangwale gandun ang gugu chuchut. Kava dun ku pilio bote niya. Tam poragatong mulira ang turong ni na potata tong abog sa umino wong ka kumbis keng balimura. Chipe doon na ni Bobo tong nabung sa nunyang tong patogas mag takong just tak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu ay tao donga, chipetwana ni bobo. Tong nabung siya nun yang. Tong patop. Kuya mi juz kachita, nai patoga ya fulki, kukula jiji. Uy, ita nadana yitya, kunti chani. Kuya mi juz kachita, nai patoga ya fulki, Mucha shak pangpa. No, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? Wata wama mulira, king kunjo pe shak. No ba mulira ji. I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. A lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shaldan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? 
Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Tunipudu! Rana nu prata dunk no sercha itchua penki! No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy, the other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should. Hmm. You, Jedi! You're looking to get in the academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning, yes. It's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. We didn't do anything. Please, help us. Silence. It's not what they did so much as what they didn't do, which is prove themselves worthy. I'm exhausted from dealing with their mewlings, so please decide for me, Win. You do? Hmm. Perhaps having a bunch of hopefuls soiling themselves would be somewhat amusing. Let's see, shall we? What? Yes? Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony. Led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the Academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashow. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that, hmm? How precocious. I think this one tried to make a joke, don't you? I didn't think it was funny. Neither did I. A brave face, perhaps, but I'm more interested in being amused at the moment, I think. What do you say? Amuse us. Make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. What? <laughs> I think someone just stood up to you, Lasho. Shut up, fool, unless you want to be next. Yeah? Anytime. Stop it. This is boring. Let's just go back to the Academy. Fine, we'll go. As for you, I'll find you later. Trust me on that. Greetings. You've heard of that awful business on Idean, yes? Our corporate outpost there has been destroyed by the Wookiee savages. This could put back the use of Wookiee labor considerably. We may even have to abandon the planet completely. Ah, well, what can you do? Sorry, was there something you needed? We do some mining here, and are responsible for local shipping and support of the Sith on Korriban. Our starport is mostly just freighters and such. But we do get many travelers that come here to learn from the Sith. This office is actually our administrative headquarters for this region. Rather inauspicious, isn't it? 
We offer good prices here to those traders that keep the colony supplied. If you're in need of anything, this is the place to come. You certainly can. Allow me to punch up our stock. What is it? I cannot render assistance, citizen. Move along. Oh, 
and very good. Go now, and keep behind Barovia. Is there something specific you wanted? And what if I am? That is the whole point. Personally, I think it's wonderful fun. Those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough, I'll let them become a Sith. Idiots. A Sith is not a banther, all endurance and no brains. A Sith would fight for his life, no matter the odds. If these rot grubs are as stupid as they seem, then they deserve their fate. You demand. Why would I listen to you? I'll do as I please. And if watching these fools starve themselves amuses me, that's what I'll do. Hmm. It is a bit boring standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while I gorge myself. They'll still be here in an hour or two, surely. I suggest you run along before I decide to make you part of the fun. You should not manipulate people this way. You may fall. Have I proved my worth? Did he say anything? Oh, no. Oh, this for nothing. Is there something you need, Jedi? Make it good, for I have little patience. You are far from the first Jedi who has come here after all, willing to abandon that decrepit order of yours. Who am I? You must not have been in Korriban for very long. Either that or you have been feeling your way about blindly. Luckily for you, I am in a charitable mood. I am Yuthuraban. Second only to Master Uthar of the Sith Academy here in Dresde. I am the one who decides which of the few of the many hopefuls who travel here to train actually become a Sith. Why? Is it your desire to enter the Academy? Is that why you are here? Ah, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Obviously you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? Perhaps none. Perhaps all the difference in the world. Either way, you possess enough raw power to intrigue me greatly. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? <laughs> you must not think much of Sith Masters to try that little trick. I won't hold it against you, however. It shows initiative. But I do desire a real answer to my question. Does it interest you? Ah, good. Exactly the sort of answer I was hoping for. 
I will take you to the Academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume? I see. Fair enough. So long as they do not disturb your training or cause any trouble. Are you ready to go to the Academy, then? Then let us leave. The Master of the Academy awaits you. Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? An honest answer, and one I would expect from anyone who's been exposed to those sad relics amongst the Jedi. As always, young human, the truth is not quite so simple. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? <laughs> you are brave to argue, young one. I have met few students who would speak so openly to me. Ask yourself first what this morality is. How is it created? Who does it benefit? Where do your notions of good and evil come from? You may come to the realization that morality is but an obstacle to overcome, or not. The discovery is yours to make, should you be ready. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here.
Ah, there you are. My favorite prospect for the year. Absolutely. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Not really. Oh, don't worry. What I have in mind will benefit us both. You can be sure of that. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Reaching that map, as they did, is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone. Or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. I suppose you could do that. Even the hint of betrayal from his pupil and Uthar would move to eliminate me. But this is a very good opportunity for you. You can start off your Sith career as the right hand of the head of the Academy. Me, Uthar will not offer you that. Do you believe Uthar would not be aware of this? He would quickly figure out what you have to gain by betraying him, and would never believe someone would pass that up. Tell Master Uthar what you wish. Were I you, I would think first of what the consequences of such an action might be. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. You must impress Master Uthar. Go to him with news of your deeds, or artifacts you have discovered. The first and easiest way would be for you to learn the Code of the Sith and speak it to him. I can teach you that, if you like. Shall I go on? I can help you understand it. Would you like to hear it? Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? I am not surprised. The Force is strong with you. Master it and it shall serve you well. You have had an excellent start. Go, gain more prestige. Oh, uh, hello. I don't remember seeing you here before. My name is Kel. Kel Alwyn. I... oh, uh, nothing. Uh, yes, my master always says I'm too trusting, too willing to show weakness. You're a Sith, so I, I really shouldn't... you know. Oh, I know that. I mean, you aren't yet, but you intend to be. I mean, you're just like everyone else here. Well, I, 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 I didn't mean it like that. I, I shouldn't trust you. I, I can't trust you, can I? I just don't feel I belong here. I thought maybe I did at first, but now I, I don't know. I have so many doubts. But where would I go then? What would I do? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I never really thought about it. Maybe I should seek it out. Give it a try. Thank you. Thank you so much. What is it? No. 
remember you. You're all right. Trying for the Academy, I see. Well, that's true. I had no idea you were coming for the Academy when I met you in the colony, though. The name's Chardin. Didn't I tell you that back in the colony? Maybe not. I don't work or play well with others. Thanks for the offer, though. What? Sure. I remember you. You want to challenge me? To a duel? <laughs> I've got a lot more planned than giving someone like you a fair fight. I guess we'll meet eventually, on my terms. Good luck until then. You? I remember you from the colony. I can't believe you actually made it into the academy. My name is Lasho. Remember it, for I'll be the one who earns the prestige to move on. You'll have to be satisfied with next year, I suppose. Just figure that out, did you? <laughs> it just so happens that I have a surefire way of pulling ahead in this little contest of ours. You don't really have a chance. I found an artifact that will impress Uthar far more than anything you could ever scrounge up. I'll win for sure. I don't have it just yet. I'll get it when I'm good and ready. <laughs> like I would tell you. Why don't I just let you rob me while you're at it? So what if it is? I'll get it eventually, regardless. Nothing good comes without a bit of a fight. That's the Sith motto, more or less. Help me get it? I don't know. Hmm. I suppose I could use some help. The artifact I know of certainly won't be easy to take. But why should I work with you? Yes, I do want to work with you. I suppose it's possible that Master Uthar could award both of us prestige. We'd be ahead of the others, for sure. Unfortunately, the Holocron lies in the gullet of a Tukata mother. I can arrange for us to meet her, but you're going to have to help me in putting her down. That makes sense to you? Go into the valley when you're prepared enough. I'll be amongst the central pillars near the north end. Because it probably contains secrets from the time when the Sith ruins on this planet first existed. You don't think that Master Uthar would find that impressive? And I'm just supposed to trust you? You're the one who has to work on this, remember? You watch me and I'll watch you. I don't trust you any more than you trust me. If you don't like that, don't come. Remember, the central pillar's in the valley. I'll be waiting, so don't take too long. It's a bad year to try and become a Sith, you know. I've got it all wrapped up. That's right. You might as well just go home, you know. There can only be one Sith this year, and that's me. You think I would tell you? Have my brain started dribbling out of my nose or something? I could, but what would be the point in that? See you around, chump. You hanging around... You think I would tell you? Have my brain started dribbling out... Funny. Say that after I'm a full Sith and I'll ground your face into the dirt just for fun. You aren't even a full Sith. Huh. Another hopeful wandering about the Academy? <sighs> I suppose you want to know how to get prestige. Huh. As if I didn't have better things to do. Has anyone told you about Jorak Un? Well, 
The first thing you should know is that it's not a name you should mention around Master Uthar if you can avoid it. Jorak Un was once Uthar's master, you see, and the head of this academy. He went a little insane, however, and Uthar forced him to flee to the surface and hide. It seems that Jorak has been spending his time kidnapping students who wander into the Valley of the Dark Lords. No idea why. I've also no idea why Uthar doesn't do something about it. If you want prestige, however, you'll find that hermit, as everyone calls him. You'll find Jorak and either kill him or bring back anything he's been writing. Uthar would like that. Now be gone. I have better things to do than chat with lost hopefuls. How do you do, hopeful? Seeking prestige, yes. But do you know of our renegade students? It seems you have already heard of them. There is no more I can do than Should you locate their hiding place, you would gain considerable prestige. I am sure. Now, if you excuse me, I must return to my studies. Another hopeful wandering about the Academy? I suppose you want to know how to get prestige. As if I didn't have better things to do. Jura, it's if you now be. Achuta Wonga kun bistulpi. 